Alright, today I'm going to tell you about tardigrades. But first, I want to ask you a question. So, what do you think the hardiest animal is? Um, I bet you have some animals in your mind now, maybe like the those giant turtles that have this, that have shells. I mean, those those look tough. But I have some. I can tell you about something that's even hardier. Um, it's this little fellow. Um, he's called. It's called the tardigrade, and it is. Um, it looks really not hardy. It's like it just looks like you could squish it easily. But these guys are actually amazingly tough. Tardigrades can survive things like um, temperatures ranging from negative two, negative three hundred twenty-eight degrees Fahrenheit to 304 degrees Fahrenheit. They can survive freezing and thawing, which would, um, normally that would, uh, that would rupture someone's uh, cells, and that would kill the cells, which would kill them. Um, it can also survive uh, very, with very little oxygen. It can survive with very little water. It can, sur it can also survive a thousand times more radiation than humans. And, um, Another thing is uh, it can also survive uh, some noxious chemicals which would normally injure or kill an organism. Uh, it can survive boiling alcohol, the vacuum of space, and also six times more pressure than is found in the Marianas Trench, which is the deepest place in the ocean, and that pressure is pretty extreme. And um, so you're probably wondering, how do they do this? To be honest, we don't really know. They are, it's this mysterious thing, and basically, from what we know, what they basic, what it looks like they're doing is they basically pull in their uh, four pairs of stubby little legs, and then they temporarily kill themselves. And then when conditions get nice again, they unkill themselves. They come back to life magically. Well, not magically. We, we just don't know how yet. But um, scientists, you're probably wondering, how did they know that it can survive the vacuum of space? Well, they did the thing that you would think that they'd do. they take these little guys, put them in a rocket, and launch them into space, expose them to the vacuum of space for 10 days, then brought them back down to Earth. And tardigrades are like, oh, hi, how are you? And apparently they also made some baby tardigrades. So they can, space is no problem for them. They, um, they are just really amazing uh, at how hardy they are and uh, they have some other names they're also known at they're known as uh, water bears or um, moss pigs I think um, and they the water bears one is com comes from the fact that they usually are found in water um, and the reason that they're also called moss pigs is because they're what they what they do to eat is they um, is they actually eat moss they Basically, it's one of the, a few of the things that they do in life. They like to, they waddle around, suck on moss, and um, yeah, and they can also go into their little indestructible state. But um, this uh, this ability with this ability, I mean, thank goodness they aren't a predator. I mean, one species is predatory, but um, but it only eats a bacteria, which is good because if it ate us, we might be in some serious trouble. The um, the United States uh, did make did successfully launch the well, NASA successfully launched tardigrades into orbit and brought them back. The Russians recently tried something and unfortunately their uh, their rocket couldn't get off, didn't get off the launch pad. Um, thankfully, there was no one in it, and I'm pretty sure, considering how hardy those tardigrades were, that they were a okay. Um, now you're probably wondering how small are these things? They're about uh, the biggest ones are like one and a half millimeters, but they're usually about half a millimeter in length. They're, they're quite small. So um, despite their size and their slowness, they can survive pretty much anywhere. And that supports this interesting theory that says that maybe life was didn't originate on Earth, but that it originated on another planet. That planet had some type of disaster, and it was blown apart. And little hardy little creatures like this, like the tardigrade, um, also known as uh, um, extremophilites, something like that. Uh, I'm not good with pronunciations, but that's the best I can pronounce it. Uh, they would, they would, um, 
literally they they would just be stuck on these little asteroids and just go into their little dead state and then uh, hit Earth. They're all better. Then they uh, go out of their dead state so that they and then they just colonize the Earth and evolve. And so this is um, that's an interesting theory. And uh, who knows? We might prove it someday. So um, thanks for watching. Bye.